All right, everyone, Chad, last step of the process for installing your hex gear at a burning man. So you can see we already have the rope sitting on the roof. Now this is gonna come into play. We have our anchors that are 12 inch nail spikes with this little hook sitting on top of them. We're gonna anchor them at six different points around the yurt, all four corners, one to the side of the door, depending on how you set it up with the tarp, as well as the other side, one straight to the back of it. So that's six anchor points. So when you put the anchors into the surface, you put them at a 45 degree angle opposite of the hex ear. So if we're going in right here, it's going in at this angle so that when you attach it to the bungee system, it creates more of a strong hold and as well as more concrete into the surface. So at a 45 degree angle, the bungee will attach to this little device here and it'll pull it up so it'll just make it stronger than going straight in, which allows it to be easier pulled out of the ground if that makes sense. So with the hex units as well, you have two options with the tarp. Some people decide to take the tarp and tape it to the base of the hex yurt to create more of a dust barrier, and some people just decide to use it open. You can do either way. You have enough tape to be able to use either option for this process. So if you're going to be taping the tarp to the base of the yurt, you can still set the anchor points up in the same place. Main point that we're trying to get at is when you secure the anchor point, you just need to make sure that it's tightened down efficiently so that the yurt's not gonna blow away. So, we're gonna go around, we're gonna install all these. So, we'll take the six bungees, and we'll just put them in the middle of each one of the angles, and we'll just walk around and do that to every six point. So now they're just gonna be hanging off the side. The next step is to anchor your nail spikes into the tarp or just the ground, depending on which technique you're gonna use. Can you hold these, please? So we'll just take this, we'll put it in, and we're gonna do that 45 degree angle that we were talking about. So now you saw this hook holding itself up because the bungee's gonna connect right into there. So at the end, you can hammer it completely into the surface. So we'll go around and we'll do this. So based on where the door is positioned, keep in mind, you can't have a bungee going straight in the front because it will disallow the door to open. So we'll just take this guy, and this looks like a good spot right here. So put this guy at another 45 degree angle. This looks like a good spot right here. Another good spot right here. Two more. And the last one. So now for the last step, we're gonna take these bungees. And so the bungees are adjustable. All you have to do is just pull up right here and then pull down and it'll tighten itself. So after you get all the bungees connected, you can go around and individually tighten each one to make sure it's very secure to the surface. So it's a very easy process for tightening it and loosening it. So we'll just take one of these at the same time, because you can't pull on one, because then the rest will just come right up. And we'll just attach them to the little hooks that are on those nail spikes. So I'll just gently pull this down. Connect it onto here. So you see it's secure to the nail spike with our little hooking system. And when the time comes that we're ready, we can tighten them all down and this will just create a leverage point so it's nice and secure. So we'll go. And just hooks right onto there. So we've got this one hooked, got this one hooked. So now this gives us the opportunity so we can feel, we're like, okay, this is pretty tight. We want to make sure this is very tight. So we can grab this bungee system. I mean, you just get another person. Can I use you, Kane? And he's just gonna pull this just bungee up with me. So pull this bungee up right here. And it's gonna allow me to be able to yank it really tight now and then secure it. And I can slowly go around and do it to every single anchoring point. Okay. So grab it, pull it up. Now we're getting really tight. Last one right here. 
So now it's already so tight that this one's gonna be just a little bit more rough. Now we feel it. And you know this is very secure. It's not gonna go anywhere. The wind's gonna kick in and it's here it's not gonna be moving. If it starts to move a little bit, go around, retighten all the bungees because they'll go tight as you want them to. It'll allow a little bit of elasticity so it's not hurting the yurt when the rope is transferring around, but it'll still allow you to tighten it more. So you see in that entire process, it's really straightforward, real simple on how to put this together. You just need to follow the steps, make sure you do them right, and then you'll have a great time. Thank you very much. Appreciate the help in the video. Bobby over here to your left. Mr. Kane in the blue coming on your right. Miss Kara right here. Mr. David Fleming videotaping it all. Thank you. Have a good day.